Tonight, a new push to keep children safe from guns. The Durham Public School Board passed a resolution urging parents to follow state law and secure their firearms at home. The goal? To keep guns from falling into the hands of their children. WRL's Monica Casey joins us now live with why the board thinks this is the key to keeping students safe. Monica? Well, just last week, two students were charged with bringing guns to Hillside High School's campus, but thanks to an anonymous tip, school resource officers were ready. The Durham Public School Board of Education is pushing to ensure guns never get into minors' hands in the first place. We need to make sure that in every single one of those households, a weapon is safely secure. School board chair Bettina Umstead tells me safely storing firearms at home is another step toward curbing violence in the Bull City. Unfortunately, we have seen a rise of incidents of gun violence that has happened in school as well as in our community. And so this is one way that we can think about if you are safely securing a firearm at home, that means that other children would not have access to it. Durham mother and Gun violence prevention activist Dr. Karen Haldeman recommends asking about how families secure firearms ahead of allowing your children to be at their home. Is there a pool? Do you have any pets? Um, are you a gun owner and do you have firearms in the home? Haldeman says it's also a conversation to have with your children. There's just too many tragedies that result because we just we just didn't ask a question or because a parent didn't safely store firearms in the home. According to DPS's resolution nationally, about 350 children under the age of 18 unintentionally shoot themselves or someone else each year. Umstead hopes to have gun locks and firearm education events at schools in the future, partnering with other organizations. So you can come to school, get information about academics, have get a gun lock if you need that. We've had vaccine events at our schools before, so we know schools are a hub of community and a place where families really can get information and materials that they need. In addition to a focus on securing firearms at home, the most recent crime report from the Durham Police Department shows guns are still being stolen out of cars. DPD continues to remind residents not to leave guns in their unlocked vehicles. Deborah, Monica Casey, live in Durham. Thanks, Monica.